Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2021 general readings. We're looking at the first two weeks of August, so from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the fire sign of Leo. Welcome everyone. Thanks for watching this video, for tuning into any of the videos on my YouTube channel, and uh, gratitude as well for all the likes, shares, hitting that subscribe button, your donations, feedback, comments reaching out for personal readings all very welcome and appreciated thank you so this reading is for the fire sign of leo for the first two weeks of august 2021 that's if your sun moon rising venus sign is in leo it's also uh, relevant if you're cross watching for a leo it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone of course it's a general reading so watch all of your signs for additional insight if you know them and uh, if you feel that something resonates with you enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading maybe take a deeper look at something uh, for yourself or as a gift for someone else you can click on the little arrow the description link below for contact details you'll see my email address there uh, feel free to email me directly maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i do offer a wide variety of readings and i would be delighted to hear from you and i do readings full time it's all that i do so i'm pretty diligent with uh, scheduling in a timely fashion so email me if you're interested all right leo let's see what the first two weeks of august have in store for you I am using Leo, the Tarot of Dreams, and clarifying with the Radiant Rider Weight. <clears throat> we begin with the world. So a major cycle coming to an end. Graduation leveling up. The Four of Cups, an offer you're not sure of. Hmm. I just got an offer to travel here for someone out there. Next, we have the Ace of Swords, the Epiphany, an idea, a new perspective, with the Four of Wands, happy home, unexpected blessings and happy surprises. But this is one of the happy home cards. It's also a card of weddings, celebrations that are around home and family, preparations for celebrations. We have the Ten of Coins, long-term stability and security, also a strong connection to home and family, with the Two of Coins, being at a crossroads, juggling two different things, perhaps trying to make a decision. Which is kind of what I'm picking up with the Ace of Swords and the Two of Coins. Feels like there's an offer on the table that someone isn't sure about taking or accepting. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Queen of Swords. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Venus. So the Queen of Swords showing up as a queen, but this is a general reading, so it could be a male as well. For some of you, this is the energy you are manifesting. For others of you, this is someone else in this situation which is significant or relevant. Um, the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Air. The Queen of, you know, um, the element of air governs our minds. So it's all about, uh, you know, wisdom, clear thinking clearly, seeing things clearly in a very linear and practical fashion. Uh, the Queen of Swords, sometimes in the tarot, she's been nicknamed the divorced woman or the widowed woman. Doesn't necessarily mean that she is either of those things. But she, uh, she has a history in the tarot of having, you know, a life that has been quite challenging. And um, it's left her with a vast wealth of experience, but it's also left her with, you know, less patience in some areas. Like this is somebody who can see right to the heart of the matter. She can, you know, she can smell the BS coming a mile away. She has no patience for it. She doesn't tolerate fools well. She will set her own emotions aside in order to make a decision about something that is the most, the, that's the wisest and most practical decision. You know, she sees things very clearly and is not prone to um, acting in a spontaneous or impulsive fashion or letting her emotions, uh, you know, make significant decisions for her. So this is either the energy you're manifesting or somebody that's relevant in this situation. I think for some of you, it's how you're actually, uh, you know, this is probably a time period, the first couple of weeks of August where you're 
you're seeing things very clearly a situation here and again I feel like something's on offer somebody's made an offer there's some kind of opportunity um, that you might be emotionally you know tempted to take but there's an aspect of it that perhaps you think might not be good so you're trying to think in a very practical clear linear way even if on an emotional level it might be difficult for you we have the world and the four of cups so the world technically represents kind of reaching the end of a pretty significant or long cycle in your life um, completion it's a card of graduation so leveling up moving on we don't repeat you know lessons and grades that we've already completed so this is you know like reaching the top of a particularly significant mountain and surveying a new horizon which is filled with new opportunities it can also be a card of travel with it we have the four of cups which is a card of uh, as you can see an offer being made the person is looking at it but they're not making any move to take it it's a card often that kind of tells me that someone is not sure if they should if they actually want to accept the offer or the opportunity in front of them sometimes it can represent a lack of gratitude or a sense of feeling lazy or indifferent but I'm not kind of getting that here I feel like what now whatever the offer is whatever is in this cup that's being offered you know this is a general reading there's a lot of you watching so of course it's going to mean different things to different people whatever is being offered in that cup or whatever opportunity there is um, for some of you it literally might be an offer to travel for others of you it's a different kind of offer of some kind but it's part of a cycle that you're closing out or you're in the process of closing out or wanting to close out because you're seeing it in a different perspective a much more clear perspective and you're just not really sure that this is something you want to do because the offer may be or the opportunity may be to do something or be part of something that you've already done over and over again because it's clarifying the world and the world represents that a cycle is coming to a close a major cycle for example if it's you know relationship regardless of the nature of relationship love romance friend work you know this is somebody saying well why don't we do this or here's this opportunity and you're like you know I've been there I've done that right I'm not, I don't think I want to get back on that merry-go-round again because that's kind of what I'm getting now again it might be emotionally difficult there might be things about this offer that are tempting but you're being the queen of swords you're trying to be quite linear here four of cups is kind of a card of not saying yes not saying no just yet and then we have the ace of swords aces represent a new beginning a new opportunity a start on a new path so the ace of swords is the ace of air air governs the mind belief systems ideologies how we view things what we think about things how we perceive things that's the element of air it governs everything that goes on in our heads so the ace of swords is a new idea a new perspective seeing something in the reality of what it is the ace of swords I mean all aces are special the ace of swords sometimes to me feels like it can be kind of challenging because it represents success that comes from seeing something clearly in a new perspective or in the perspective of the reality that it actually is and that can be kind of difficult sometimes if the truth and the reality of what you see is not what you want it to be is not what you've been telling yourself to be but in the space of seeing something very clearly you have the opportunity to make choices and decisions to create a better or healthier reality for yourself right here's the epiphany the idea a new perspective and then we have the four of wands which is one of the happy home celebratory cards cards that involve you know friends and family um, or gatherings or social celebrations around friend and family whether they're formal like a wedding or a graduation or whether you know they're casual and then we have the ten of coins and the two of coins so yeah trying to make a decision here trying to
some of you it might be about you know money too it feels like the decision on offer here or i mean the decision that you need to make about what is available to you whatever the offer is or the opportunity what's available to you whether it's in love and romance whether it's um, in the, in your financial structure maybe something that has to do with work there's this sense of is this in my best interest is it in the best interest of my home and family whatever that is is this in the best interest of my long-term stability and security whether or not that long-term stability and security is financial or emotional or some combination of the two so I feel like you're contemplating during this time Leo let's clarify a few things <clears throat> let's clarify the Queen of Swords I had the justice card having a hard time going back in that might be relevant to some of you but again it's what's the right thing to do the king of wands leo aries sagittarius sun moon or rising with the queen of swords so it may be about another fire sign as well leo aries sagittarius this could be you i mean the king of sword the king of wands and the queen of swords and then we have the two of cups after that so there's a partnership here now the two of cups is technically the soulmate kindred spirit card but it can sometimes represent really close friends that level up into something more romantic um, it represents a partnership um, that's quite close so there's a relationship central here and with the king of wands you know it could be another fire sign i did when i was shuffling have the emperor poke his head out uh, as well although it didn't actually fall out of the deck so we have the queen of swords the king of wands and the two of cups yeah i think you're trying to make a decision it might be about the relationship itself you know is it in my best interest to continue this because the world represents a cycle ending which implies that whatever is the nature of the issue in this relationship this is something that you've been going around and around about this isn't you know and perhaps you're just not interested in whatever is on offer here again and and that decision might be about the relationship or it might be a decision in another area of life like financial or work or job that could significantly affect this um, uh, relationship whether it's a, a really close best friends or lovers or some combination of the two let's clarify the four of cups this is a card of not knowing if you want to or should take the offer and just popped right out the three of cups and the four of pentacles yeah <clears throat> The Three of Cups, sometimes called the party card, it's a card that represents, you know, a high level of social activity, getting together, drinking, dancing, having a good time, partying, uh, being with people you really enjoy being with. But then right behind it, we have the Four of Pentacles, which is nicknamed the Miser card because it represents somebody who doesn't really want to, kind of a hoarder mentality, whether it's financial and material hoarding um, or emotional hoarding, being closed off, protected, guarded. Um, it typically represents somebody who doesn't want to give uh, much, if anything at all, because they want to keep their stability and security, which is an interesting card to have with the Three of Cups, but it's all clarifying the Four of Cups. This is why whatever is available to you, it looks like, it looks like <laughs> Leo, you're seeing behind the curtain, so to speak. It, it feels like you're... It really feels like you're seeing something that you've been a regular part of some kind of cycle or merry-go-round which may not have started out to be unhealthy and technically in the in the the overall sense might not be unhealthy but there's something about this relationship or partnership or issue which affects your relationship that you feel like yeah what you're presenting looks really good but it's the life of it or the in-between times that isn't good 
it's kind of like this feels like some of the readings I did for last month's mid month readings you know it feels like it's a merry-go-round you're, you're not sure if you want to get on again because this three of cups which looks really great and fun is not the four of pentacles it's kind of like I keep getting travel for somebody it might be that there's a relationship where one person is back and forth and back and forth or travels a lot and says you know well you can always come with me or you can come join me or whatever and so it's always fun you you go and you spend this time but then when you leave it's really difficult and there's all this time in between where you're alone and then then you have a chance to be together again and on and on and on and on and it feels like it's the same thing here this is an example but I am getting this for somebody um, and you're like I don't know if I want to do this anymore because you know the roller coaster ride might be fun when you're on it but getting on and getting off and getting on and getting off and the life in between that isn't good and I'm not sure if I want to get back on this again and that's kind of the gist of what I'm getting for this whole reading clarify the two of coins choice crossroads I think you're thinking about long-term stability and security I think you're thinking about what you want most down the road rather than what you have right now which the other person or the other side that's making this thing available to you or this opportunity available to you which has been available to you before even though I think you may be pulled towards it I think in a practical and very realistic sense I mean the devil's always in the details you're like yeah it looks fun on its surface and there's fun aspects of it but the reality of it and, and the big picture of it I don't I don't think this is good for me long term it's like constantly giving up what you want most for what you want right now that's more attractive but doesn't lead to that long-term stability and at a certain point going you know I just this is like pouring water into a glass with no bottom it never gets full I can never nourish myself from it the magician and the lovers we're clarifying the two of coins here this choice this crossroads energy so the magician is the manifester he knows how to make something manifest into reality by using his head his talents his skills his experience and resources um, to actually make something manifest and then we have the lovers so there's a choice here the lovers typically represents a relationship at a crossroads and an important decision needs to be made as to the life of the relationship uh, whether to go on or whether not to go on or how this relationship is going to evolve and these cards are both clarifying what to do the two of coins what to do what is in the best interest of long-term stability and security around this relationship now for some of you this whole reading is going to be about the relationship itself and whether or not it's worth continuing to invest in because you're 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 not in a place where you feel like you have long-term stability and security you know the ten of coins means that you don't worry about tomorrow or next week or next month or next year you're secure it's not something you have anxiety about when you look forward into the future right so there's this whole implication here that you don't have that around this issue whether it's about the relationship itself or whether it's about some kind of financial you know opportunity that's going to affect your partnership and your home and family so there's a sense of needing to make a decision that's going to be in your best interest long term and that also affects this relationship whether it's about this relationship or something which just affects this relationship and that's kind of where this reading is kind of a period of, of contemplation here and asking yourself do I want to get back on this ride again do I want to get back on this merry-go-round again it's fun while I'm on it but I always have to get off and the getting off is difficult and the time in between is challenging as well all right any final messages been there done that and I deserve better that's what I'm getting any final messages or guidance or whatever Leo needs to focus on the first two weeks of August 2021 the Empress yeah the Empress doesn't settle for anything less than what an Empress deserves 
She is all about fertility and beauty and abundance and sensuality and things that are nurtured and feeding and growing things. This is a card also of expansion and some self-indulgence and self-love and care and, and, you know, doing things that are good for you because you deserve them. I mean, the Empress does. She wouldn't settle for anything less. So don't you either, Leo. The Four of Cups. We have the Four of Cups twice, but here Spirit's giving it to us as advice. It's not a yes and it's not a no. The Seven of Cups, the card of building castles in the sky, daydreams, fantasizing, illusions. It can also be a card that represents there's multiple opportunities, other opportunities for you out there. And there's one aspect of that for you, Leo. You're, you know, you're the Empress or the Emperor if you're male. Um, this is kind of seeing behind the curtains again and going, you know, it looks really good on its surface, but I've been on this ride before. Eventually I have to get off. I don't think I want to get back on this again. I deserve better than that. But again, I'm not getting a strict yes or no. It may be that your answer is just not to give an answer and just to say, you know, I'm going to continue in my life making the choices that are best for my long-term stability and security. I hope that you're part of that, but I just need to make my own decisions and not wait on you to make decisions that affect my life. That's kind of what I'm getting. Okay, Leo, those are your messages for the first two weeks of August. I hope that they were helpful to you, that they brought some kind of clarity or insight. Uh, again, if you would like to reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, click on the description link below for contact details. Email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be most happy to hear from you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the August mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe and well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.